Why does this place look so familiar? Like I've been here. Hmm. You look up and saw a boy by a tree. You decide to approach because in this darkness you're likely to meet anyone else. Ah, you saw a boy who, for some reason, was as familiar to you again at this place. You saw his crying face. Did something wrong happen to him? Hey, why are you crying? Is something wrong? Or did someone hurt you? Hey, gosh, you don't have to be afraid of me. I won't hurt you. Are you sure? Everyone who sees me, it's like they want to hurt me. No, no, I won't do anything bad. What's your problem? I ran away from home. I don't want to be there. Never. My mom died and even living at my friend's house. Too bad. After talking to the boy, you decided to leave him. He was so weak. Who's going to help him if not you? Hey, what's your name? Liam. My name is Liam. That's a beautiful name. Do you really think so? Of course. It's a very beautiful name. He finally smiled. He even seemed glad to hear it. Thank you. No one has ever said that to me. Oh, Lee. He's still smiling. Hey, you want to come over? We can hang out at my house. To have tea there. Will you do it? Of course, Lee. Let's go. Yay. After a time, you came. I think there's an aquarium in this house. Pretty big one at that. Pretty cozy. There we are at home. You can go to my room to the left for now. I'll take everything. He's sad again. Okay, I'll try to fix that. After looking around, you went into his room. Hmm, what's the painting? Why is it covered in paint? Ah, uh, okay, maybe just didn't like the photo or something. You sat down on the bed and started looking around. It was pretty cozy in here, but you can see the cracks in the wall. You didn't pay much attention to them. Hey, hey. I brought paper and pencils. Would you mind drawing with me? Oh, well, let's give Lee a try. He started drawing with Liam. He drew a few different things, nature, flowers, and more. After a while, Liam touched you with trembling hands. I, I drew a little something for you. Just please don't criticize too much. We, that's very sweet. I like your drawing. Really? Uh, I thought you were going to laugh just as hard. Like my friend's parents. They had a long laugh when I drew us all together. They took me in as family, but in the end, I'm just as much as a stranger. My friend keeps taking away things that are important to me. He accidentally ripped a picture of me with my real family, or rather, when my dad was alive. I cried and then they said it was nothing. Do you get that a lot around here? I don't think it's a good idea to bully a child or something. You heard someone's footsteps. I wonder who it could be. I think it's a friend of mine. You'll see him. Although, I don't want to. 
Oh, Liam has a new friend. I'm surprised I haven't seen you here before. Yeah, you could say that. What's your name? Esmeeth. Nice to meet you. Hey, Lee. Hey, let me show you our house. What about Lee? He's going to be okay. Let's go. I'm glad you made the right choice. He's very boring. He doesn't even have anything to talk about. It's about drawings. I'm more than sure he won't get anywhere in the future. Why would you say that? He's your friend. Yeah, and he's funny. If he felt that way, he wouldn't have picked me. Here's my room. You look around while I go get us some lemonade. I did the wrong thing with Liam. I hope he's not offended with me. Time passed, but it has never returned. He stood, sat, and waited for a long time, but finally to check it out. Mm -hmm. Are you looking for Desmus? He'll be here soon, don't worry. Liam, we need to talk. About how pathetic I am. I heard your conversation. Don't. Lee, you're wrong. You're not pathetic. I'm glad. Lee, listen to me. You're the sweetest. Don't think anything bad about yourself. What they tell you is nothing. Believe in yourself. Thank you so much. I'm glad you don't think badly of me. You put your arms around him, pulling him closer to you. He snuggles up to you and closes his eyes. All is well. Okay, now let's stay with Liam. I'm sorry, but I want to stay with Liam. Me? Do you want to stay with me? Yeah, Lee. I want to stay here with you. You seem to be boring as Liam. Good luck with that. I can't believe that you chose me. Before, they had that choice. They obviously wouldn't have chose me. Lee. Liam started to cry. You held his hand to calm him down a little. I'm so happy you stayed with me. Maybe it doesn't matter to you, but I'm so glad. Thank you. Okay, now, sorry. I'm sorry, but I have to go. Ah, uh, yes, I see. Well, then, okay. Bye. It's gone. Minutes go by and it never leaves. You know this place and this boy too. Wait, have you been here? This is bullshit. Deciding to take a break from such thoughts, he went for a walk somewhere, maybe to a cafe. As he walked along, you pondered the same. On your way out, you decided to stop at the store, but buy yourself a drink. Looking around the shelves, you wondered what to get. Boo! Ah. Oh my god, are you sick? Why are you scaring me like this? Who would have thought I could scare you? Looking for something to eat? And you don't care what happened to that boy. Wait. Where are you from? My name is Sabu. Nice to meet you. And your question is, how do I know? Oh, well, I know a lot of things. What you eat, when you go to bed, and much more. What do you want from me? 
How could I help that boy? I don't even know him. You know? You just don't remember it. I'm just giving you a choice. Either you go and help, or you'll find out. Okay, you want it so badly. I don't know what you're so worried about. Don't be stupid. You'll see for yourself. I will ask one question before I do. When will I remember everything? It's the first time I've seen such impatient people. I don't know how to say this, but uh, the memory will come back and when you wake up. What? Wake up? Huh? I'm a standing NPC to give you dialogue. Just go. I'm afraid while you're thinking here, you'll discover two Americas. Okay. Bye, Sabbath. See ya. Came to the same park. Just when the sun appeared. Got light. You looked around for the boy. You're looking for it. But then you saw something behind a tree. Is that him? You ran up to the tree and looked. You looked around for the boy. And there it is, right in front of you. You were glad he was here, checking his pulse, realizing he was alive. You looked at him and held your breath. Some kind of shiver ran through your body. The realization that your head is spinning and the eyes have gotten all... Nothing. You're losing consciousness. Hey, honey. Wake up. Yeah. Is everything all right? I hope you didn't hurt yourself. Liam? Yep. You fell so sharply. I was so scared. Remind me. Why are we here? We wanted to have a jump party and we wanted to buy cereal. Oh, yeah. Ah, there they are. Are you sure you're okay? I'm worried. Liam, it's okay. Don't worry about me. I feel bad. I'll tell you. <laughs> I'm worried. Hmm. I can't wait to see me in the costume at home, huh? Let's see if I do better. Sure, it's sweet. Everything always looks good on you. Oh, come on. Okay, now we don't help. Well, you yourself, you've decided your own fate. 